So I have one of these inexpensive sport grip lace-on um, steering wheel covers. Uh, it's in black. Uh, I was trying to get the smaller size. So the way they size these is by the grip circumference. So it's the circumference around the wheel here. And the smaller size is three and a quarter. This particular one's a three and a half. But I could not find them in stock anywhere online anywhere so i'm going to install this one and basically the extra quarter inch really shouldn't matter because you just overlap it anyway on the inside here um so i'll do that now so these are pretty straightforward this is the cover and it has this plastic lace already um started on the cover itself so the way this works is you take this seam right so there is a seam and this is the bottom of the wheel bottom uh, center of the wheel so there's a little instruction packet as well so let's see here's the english side so here's the instructions. Uh, yeah, so you want the seam to be at the bottom here. So we're gonna put the cover on. Um, the instructions say you can heat this, put it out in the sun, warm it up with like a heat gun or something, and it makes it more pliable and more more uh, easier to stretch. Um, mine's a little warm, I had it, and I think it'll be fine on this particular application. Um, so really what we're going to do is we're going to take the seam. The seam is going to be the bottom center of the wheel. And we're going to really stretch this over the wheel um, and just get it kind of on. And then we'll worry about centering it. But there it goes on this side and there. Okay. So now we have to center it. So we want the wheel kind of in the center. of the cover. So you can see here, there's way more of the cover on the front half of the wheel and a tiny little bit on the back. So I gotta kind of center it, okay? Want it all nice, fairly even. If any excess, we want the excess on the front. And the reason why you want the excess on the front is when you go to close this, and hopefully you can see it from there, you want the back to go up first and then the front to overlap the back. That way, from the driver's point of view, there's no seam there. You don't see anything because the front piece is overlapping the back. The seam here, the overlap is uh, facing the, the cluster. But the overlap on this is actually going to be fairly small, um, which is great. So kind of tweaking to get it okay good good looking pretty good so now we're going to lace it so here's the lace that was att attached um, there's one end that kind of slides under it that I just pulled out so now this is ready to unravel the lacing is not round it's flattened like it's uh almost like a, it's a, a, like a football shape, the cross section, um, an American football. Uh, so what you wanna do is you don't want it, you don't wanna twist it, you want it to lay nice and flat as we go around, okay? Now, if you look at the cover, there's these sets of perforated holes that actually go, they form lines at a particular angle, right? And in between, there are solid sections. We want to lace in those solid sections right down the center of them to create a nice uniform uh, pattern. So we also want to use the angle of those uh, perforated lines. So if you look, these go this way. So here will be the first one. We'll be right here. Right, we want to overlap the front over the back. Okay, that one's good. All right, and there's
there's nothing this is all make a mistake just unwind it and start over again because there's it's not like there's any glue it's not like there's any um you know you don't create any damage so you could really depending on how picky you are you could really spend a lot of time perfecting this i'm trying to keep tension on the lace because like i got the overlap the way i wanted it there so i, I like to try to keep tension on the lace while i'm getting the next piece ready from an overlap point of view and again i'm trying to keep the lace centered on the non perforated section of the of the cover when you get to like where a spoke connects you just do your best to kind of mimic and be consistent with the the spacing that you were doing um but if it um if the spoke is in the way of where the lace is supposed to go, you just go to the top of the spoke, go around it. And I'll show you that because that's exactly what I look, what it looks like I'm going to run into here. Okay. So I'm kind of just getting a little more of this lace ready to go. All right. So it was, I? so keeping tension on the lace. I, I don't want it rolled. I want to keep it flat. So let's see what we got here the flat the um come through the wheel here up to where the spoke is but we want to keep the front overlapping the back yes that should go like right there good good Front over back. There. I don't I'm not sure how I like the way that looks right there, the spacing, but we'll we'll play with it as we adjust and make tweaks. Okay. So that's our nice wrap there. Again, I'm going. I am splitting, I'm trying to split the spaces between the, the perforated lines. And if I do that, I should get nice spacing on my lacing. Again, keeping tension on my lace the whole time, sliding it to the next uh, kind of line here between the perforated. There we go. Unwind a little more. The lacing has a little elasticity to it. So I am keeping tension on it, but try also trying not to pull too hard where I'm gonna like distort it or God forbid snap it or something like that. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna unwind basically all of it. Since I'm basically halfway around. Okay. So again. That one looks good. Keep it flat. It wants to twist here. Okay, there you go. So.
this one. I did not do a good job putting the front or the back, so I had to redo it. There, good. Now we're gonna come to the bottom of the spoke here. That looks that came out that one the spacing came out really nice. Okay, good. Almost coming back to the beginning. And then there's a whole process for how to basically tie up So I'm back to the beginning, but before I really get into the process of tying this off, I'm actually just gonna put a clamp here to make sure I like all the fitment. And, and the other thing is like, I wanna make sure I didn't go like too tight on these rungs and loose on this one. I want it to all be the same, right? And even like with the stretch level, like in the, the cushioning that the, that the wrap provides. I want it to be, I want it to feel uniform. You don't want it to feel tight here and loose here or anything like that. So I'm liking this so far. I think when I, you know, I feel these, I feel like the, it's barely the same tightness all the way around. I don't feel like any of these are really like loose. So here's a, a closer look of what I've been doing. So as you can see, I've wrapped the lacing and I've tried to center the lacing between the sets of perforated holes every time. So this is the solid section right here. The lacing is kind of in the center of it, center, center, and it should kind of create an even spacing, the same kind of angle on each one and kind of create like a uniform look okay the other thing that i kind of showed or talked about but i want to give you a better view of it is there's a seam down the inside of the wheel here because the cover the cover you know like a u wrapped and now we're kind of just closing it with the lacing right but that seam is right here you can feel it and what i was saying about you know the front the front overlapping the back is you want I could stick my finger in the seam right here you wanted this half this outer half here to overlap the piece in the back because like I said my finger here is rubbing against that that seam but when you're in the driver position you don't see it because it's away from you because if I were to go around and look at it from this side, you kind of have a more unsightly seam here. It's a little dark to see, but you would not want that right here, you know, in your face. Um, so that's, that look, it feels good. Um, there is some wrinkles in it, I think just from being in the box. Um, I probably could wrap this a little tight. I'm, I'm determining if I want to redo this and wrap it tighter, um, which I might. Um, but the last piece, and I have a little cheap clamp holding this, the last piece is tying off the, uh, the last rung 
of the lacing here. Okay, so I just want to show that I kind of improvised my uh, the way I tied it off and secured it. Um, according to the instructions, once you get back to the beginning, you're supposed to kind of, here's a photo of it, loop the lacing through a set of the perforations and kind of loop it back on, onto itself. And you can see what you end up like, almost like an X pattern and you do it twice actually. And then you end up with like this X here and here. And I didn't really want that here. I wanted to try to stay with the same uniform spacing of the lacing. So what I did is I took the tail that was coming off the front half of the wrap, not the really long one that I used to go all the way around, but the other section probably had like an eight, eight inch piece hanging on it. And I took that and I actually ran it under the cover up till about here and it went under all this lacing. So when the lacing came down tight around it, it kind of secured that one end. Then I crossed them right here underneath, which you can't see, but I can kind of feel it because um, it's under the cover right where the two edges meet. And then I took that piece that came across and ran it under the cover up till about here, actually right about here. Um, so same thing, ran it under the cover under each one of these loops. So now each of these loops is kind of securing it. And then when I got up to this loop, I actually tied off way back here on this loop and made two knots. And then I took that knot and stuck it under the cover over here. So the end result is it's secure. I don't have like the X's here. I just have the same uniform spaced lacing pattern all the way around the wheel. And I'm happy with that. Again, this is a really inexpensive cover that, and, and it was kind of, the car had one originally um, and it's kind of like a period correct accessory. And I really think it needs something um, if you're not used to driving these old cars with these super thin steering wheels and the really like over boosted power steering, just to kind of give it more of a conventional feel. Um, so that's it. Uh, the cover's on. Um, if you like this video, um, or have any questions or comments, do that below. Otherwise, please feel free to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.